I think it's like a hundred dollars per fish or something like that here. <laughs> well, it's a nice day to be out. Beautiful day, best day we've had down here yet. Yeah. Even at 64 degrees, though, it's 100 degrees warmer than home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys have a nice day. Yeah, thanks. Alright, got another piece of nail. Alright, so I waited long enough, they moved off. I'm gonna do this other part. Under uh, here. Over hither. Uh, my line's all tangled up. Just gotta make sure I get enough of it out that I don't throw myself in. That's pretty cool, them people came from Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, see, in Michigan you're not allowed to snag fish. Here you're allowed to. You use travel hooks and snag whatever you can. This is a bunch of corroded metal again. I forgot about how corroded, full of corroded metal this area is. There's boat docks. Most of it's not from the boats either. Most of it's from the docks. Again, try to not throw myself in. Bunch of current and metal again. So I never caught the fishing pole that the local was talking about. But hey, it was worth a shot. The lure of getting a oh, brand new fishing pole. It's only been in the water for a week. That would be amazing. If I saw a time lock, I'll do the, my favorite spot, the spot for batteries. I'm almost done here. Their boat loader doesn't sound like it's 
doing very good. Alright, I got a bunch of stuff here. I got another tool of some sort. It's like uh, where you can replace the head on it so it could be anything you want. By this one's a Phillips head, but it could be flat head or whatever piece you put on it. Then I got the most corroded battery I've ever got, I think. Or at least close to it. A piece of broken hook metal. Uh, a nail. Let's adjust it. And just a bunch of pieces of metal. Corroded metal on metal. This cleanup is gonna be horrible. I picked up a couple of uh, bottles too. Well, a soda bottle and a water bottle that somebody just left. And if I didn't pick it up, eventually the wind would blow it into the water. Or some idiot would pick it up and throw it in the water. Which is what normally happens. Here in Florida, if somebody sees trash off to the side, they'll normally just pick it up and throw it into the water. Which, there aren't exactly the brightest people here in Florida. But, there are some highly intelligent people here in Florida. That wouldn't be something like that. something here. I got something. It's something big too. What in the world is that? What in the world is that? Whoa. Oh man. I got me a pipe of some sort. <laughs> That's going into the dumpster. Somebody used it as a flashlight. Oh, it's not a flashlight, it's a light pole. Well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a light. It's a pole with the light on it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's cool. Oh crap. I caught my first ever fish magnet fishing. Look at that. Oh crap. I pulled up a fish magnet fishing. <laughs> Well, we leaked it in the water. <laughs> wow. I caught a fish line of fishing. I got a bottle cap. A meter of some sort. And a bunch of corroded metal again. I can't believe I caught a fish line of fishing. <laughs> I hope you guys saw that fish. If you didn't, well, too bad. So we'll if I don't finish all the boat docks today, which I wouldn't be able to, I don't know if I'll do any more of them, but I'll come back another day and do it. This is an installment of my big magnet, doing all the spots that are here to magnet fish. I got another bolt and then I'll just work on the spots that I like.
Alright, just a bunch of corroded metal again. If you guys are still with me, I'm going to show you the light pole to make sure that that gets put in. My video. Alright, let's 